previously on the Bria Disc Golf Pro Series. We made our way out to Warwick, New York for the Bria Invasion. One of the region's most beautiful courses, we saw Connor Healy, Hank Hendry, Big Putt from Zach Doyle, and Steve Brinster on the card today. Connor played pretty well. Zach threw a lot of great forehand shots like this one, but ultimately he struggled throughout the day. Hank was pulling away from Connor and Steve there for the during the first part of the round, but the highlight of the day was hole 14 here, about 600 feet. Downhill par four, Steve Brinster absolutely laces his drive through the gap, puts himself on the green, and lays out for the eagle putt. He would gain two strokes on Hank on that hole and two strokes on the very next hole, and eventually he reigned supreme. My name is Bill Gailey, owner of Bria Disc Golf. So we're really excited to add Phoenix Discs and their trophies to the series this year. Uh, I've known Andrew for a couple years now and the quality of work that he's had coming out of his shop has definitely gone through the roof with the inventiveness that he has with each of the trophies. Um, most of the time I just tell him that, you know, when the event is and he, he figures something out. And I think this year, he definitely went above and beyond with what he was able to design. Doc Kramer is a course that gives you some local love down by the shore. You'll see a sandy track that has had a lot of hours put in. It has definitely come to be known from the locals as being a top-notch course uh, and one that has progressed over the last several years. And here we are for the 2021 Doc Kramer Classic, presented by Phoenix Discs. Like Bill said, out by the shore in Manahawkin, New Jersey. This is stop number four of the Bria Pro Series, the final stop. Thank you, Phoenix Discs, for supplying the trophies for this whole series. Yes, very creative, like Bill said. My name's AJ Risley. It is a sunny October Sunday, about 80 degrees out here near the shore. Let's see who we got on the lead card for the final round. Alex Nicosia at nine under par. Hot round during the first round. Kyle Bedell, five under. Finley Buchanan Jacobs at four under par, as well as Brandon Kopenjan. And a couple other familiar names. Justin Choka, who is also in the running for the points series. Finley Buchanan Jacobs, who is on our lead card, is second in the point series, just three behind Steve Brinster. And we're gonna jump right into it. Hole one, straight shot, going up and over this big berm and a pretty hard turn to the right there at the end, about 260 feet. And here's my first look at Alex Nicosia. It may not be yours, but let's see what Alex has. Going to the backhand putter shot. And great commitment right away. I'm guessing he's picking up right where he left off before the lunch break. This is Kyle Bedell. Yeah, dude. Yeah, nice shot. Go in. Good looking forehand from Kyle. Great line. His card mates were asking it to go in, and we'll see how close he is to the basket for Birdie. And back on the lead card of the Pro Series is... Finley Buchanan Jacobs, but he's off to a rough start for the second round. Pulls his forehand left side and also making a return is Brandon Kopenjan. He's got a strong forehand. We'll see a lot of that today out here at Doc Kramer. And I think Brandon just caught one of the last trees that he needed to get around. Finley going with a little standstill forehand approach. That should be an easy par. And it looks like Brandon's going to have to do the same thing. Mm -hmm. 
Here's where Alex's drive ended up. He's going to have to stretch out to his left a little bit and put a little Anheuser on this putt. He's got a few trees in his way. Oh, and he does, does so very well. Good start to Alex's second round. With a birdie on hole one. Here's Kyle for birdie as well. Up and over the rim. And that's the way to start. Kyle's still four strokes back of Alex, though. This is going to be a long round. He's going to have to... He and everybody else is going to have to play pretty well to catch back up to Alex. Good par putt for Brandon. Finley about to do the same. And there you have it. We are off and running. Over to hole two. Looks to be slightly uphill the whole way. We're going to break off left here. And man, that, yeah, even the drone doesn't want to get close to that basket. It is guarded by all those trees. It looks like our camera angles going to be down the fairway looking back at the tee. We're probably at the corner. Alex lining up a hyzer. Pretty low. And a good looking skip too. Oh, but unfortunate little roll away from the basket. That skip shot looked pretty intentional, so let's see who else chooses that line. Though it looks like Kyle's going for it, but he's he's a bit low and a bit early. He skips into the woods on the left. Finley also going low skipper. Pretty good power, but still too low to really give himself a chance at birdie. Here's Brandon. He takes it wide, and that looks like it's the way to go. He's going to be CTP. Kyle's got at least 100 feet here left on hole two. Wow. Forehand approach from the tree. Great looking scramble there from Kyle. Finley's eyeing this one up. Who knows what kind of line he, he can find. And it was really pretty much just a layup from there for Finley. Looks like Alex still has his foot on the gas pedal here. Oh, boy. Great effort. Just a couple inches outside of the, his target. Brandon for birdie. Dead center chains. Brandon jumps up into third place, solo third place for the moment. One shot back of Kyle in second place. Still five strokes off the lead. But he's got 16 more holes to go today. We'll see if Brandon can make a run for the title. Let's move over to hole three. Going to play around a corner of trees going left to right and then back up slightly to the left here. Looks like the shot might be to go up a little higher. Seeing as how these, these turns are pretty tight. Brandon going with the backhand. Puts it right where he wants it and lets the disc do the work. Turning to the right, fading back a little bit left. He might have caught something at the very end, but I think he's got a birdie putt. And Alex second on the box. Ooh, he throws it directly at that corner tree and kicks left. He'll have some work to do for par. Kyle also going to the backhand. Plays it a little wide, trying to swing it to the right, but catches a tree on that left side. Kicks him left. Ooh, that'll be that'll be a good up and down if he can get it. And last on the box, Finley Buchanan Jacobs, the only player yet to card a birdie on the card today. At least for the second round. Finley goes 
straight line. And while he, while he is a bit left of his target, I believe he's pin high. Simple putter approach from Alex almost rings it up. And yeah, here's Kyle. He's got a going to a stand going to a standstill. Oh, he goes low with an extreme spike hyzer angle. Lots of force to really find a skip through all this soft sand and pine straw. Brandon is just outside circle one, looking at a birdie putt here. Oh, and he knew it about halfway. It was a good line, just maybe a foot too high, maybe somewhere between six inches and a foot too high. And Finley is CTP. Oh, and he suffers the same fate as Brandon. Good line, just a little bit too high, and they both hit that front rail on top. Missed opportunity from Finn, but capitalized opportunity for Kyle. And like I said, on the tee, good par save. Good up and down. Par save for Alex there. And Brandon with an, also a missed opportunity. One of the shortest holes on the course, hole four, is also one of the densest fairways. There are a lot of trees on this short hole, but that also means that there are a lot of gaps. And it looks like the, the biggest lane is on the right side. Brandon goes to his forehand, trusty forehand, Anheuser approach, oh man, and that thing scurries up right next to the pole. Drop in birdie for Brandon upcoming. Here's Alex's shot. Impressive line and impressive decision from Kyle. He, The hole kind of calls for a two-turn shot, a hyzer flip or a flex. But he just played straight hyzer, just one turn. And with it being such a short hole, he finds the easy line. And Alex has a birdie putt. Kyle... Goes to the forehand, but hits early. He's Here's Kyle's long look. Finley, great look, looking shot. Catches a tree close to the basket, but he'll still have a putt. And that's Kyle's approach. First birdie of the final round for Finley there. Well done. Five under par. And here's Alex from about 18 feet for birdie. And Kyle getting a little sneaky there. <laughs> Three under par from our card on hole four. Welcome to new Bria Disc Golf Store in Wall, New Jersey, home of the largest disc inventory in the region. An ever-growing inventory of discs from all the top brands, including Discraft, Innova, Dynamic Discs, MVP, Disc Mania, and Prodigy. As an authorized retailer for Zuka, Grip Equipment, and our expanding apparel selection, you'll feel good and look good for your next round. Easy access from Route 18, 195, and the Garden State Parkway. Head to our website to see our growing online inventory, store hours, and other updates. We look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you, Bill. The shop looks beautiful. Hole five, short par three, hard turn to the right most of the, most of the way. And you know what that means? It's a good forehand hole. Brandon looking Looking up and over the trees. Oh, but he catches something about pin high and that will leave him left of the green. Here's 
a look at Alex's forehand. Oh, good power and speed. He also goes high. Oh, and he finishes up top near the basket, maybe 25 feet to the right. Finley, also known for his forehand shots, goes high as well. That seems to be the line here. Oh, but Finley, just like Brandon, catches something a little deep left of the basket. He'll have a long putt. Kyle looking up towards the heavens, and he skies that one. And it looked like it came in left of the basket up top. Hard to tell, though. Here's Finley's birdie look. About 50 feet uphill, a couple trees in the way. Oh! And good attempt. Right height, just not enough juice. Brandon is about 5 or 10 feet inside of Finley. Still in circle 2. And he hearts that one. Never a doubt on that putt, from, that birdie putt from Brandon Copenjan on hole five. Starting to put a little bit of pressure on Alex here. This is Alex for birdie, catches that lo low left side chain. And he's at 12 under par, five. Strokes ahead of Kyle and Brandon, who are tied for second place. Great birdie from Kyle. And Finley with the solo par. He's falling behind a little bit. On to hole six. Tight tunnel. 322 feet. Man, this hole is straight, straight, straight. And that's what these players are going to want their discs to do. They're going to want them to start straight fly straight through the air and finish straight. That means no no big left skip. Maybe a little bit of hyzer flip. Let's see what Brandon's got. Oh, he had the right idea, right angle, but a little shy on that one. Comes out low left. Alex is also lining up a backhand hyzer. And he commits to the throw, but gets the nose up a little bit. He's flirts with the ceiling there and gets down the fairway a good, a decent amount. Oh, Kyle going with a little bit flatter release, but it, just like Brandon, early low left. And he kicks off to the right. That's going to be tough. Plenty of plenty of forward momentum on Finley's disc, but his his line was well right. And this looks tough. He's going to a forehand roller. Pretty clean. Oh, oh my goodness! Wowzers! Wow, lots of skill, a little bit of luck there, but just a lovely base right under the basket that Finley cozies up to. Great second shots from Finley and Kyle. And Brandon also has a little bit of trouble between him and the basket. Lots of trees. Goes with the forehand. Oh, and he catches one just about at about circle's edge. He'll have a putt from circle two for his par. And that extra height on Alex's drive got him to about 45 feet, maybe 50. Oh, and he just slams that putt home for the turkey. And that looked effortless. Great putt from Alex Nicosia there. For the solo bird on hole six. And oh no, Brandon is off. He's going to take a bogey. Kyle with the par putt with the bag on the shoulder. No problem. Great par from Finley drop in after that amazing forehand roller. 
Brandon's going to drop two strokes to Alex. Now he's back to third place, back to seven strokes back. And speaking of sevens, we're on to hole seven. Straight shot. There's this tree out right there in the corner before the drone turns left. That's it's a different color than most of the other trees. So let's see if we can find it here on this camera angle. I bring up that tree because that is pretty much the corner that these players want to get past and then break off to the left. There's that tree. Alex, great backhand, gets past that tree, but catches a tree, another tree, at about circle's edge. Here's Kyle's approach. Clean release, he goes inside that tree, finds a big skip. He might be in circle one looking at birdie. Another clean backhand from Finley. A little wide, and it, but it breaks hard left and finds a skip. Looked like he caught another tree. He might be in circle two. Brandon pulls this one a little bit wide, but it's got enough air to f fight back all the way to the left and find a skip. Finley from about 45 feet for birdie. Oh, and his step putt comes up just a few inches short. Here's Kyle from just outside circle one. Ah! Oh, he hits the rim, does a little flip, and then bounces off. Alex is on a heater, ladies and gentlemen. Just tosses that birdie putt right in there from about 30 feet like it was nothing. He's 14 under par. Great, great bounce back from Brandon, getting him back to seven under par and a tie for second place, but only half of the birdie strokes that Alex has accumulated on the day. Hole eight, back in the woods. Still in the woods, par four, slight turn to the right this whole way, and then an uphill finish. There's gonna be some, some forehand shots, probably into the green, but a backhand shot here could keep one right in the middle of the fairway and really bite off a lot of distance. And that looks like what Alex is going to. He's got four birdies in a row. Let's see if he can make it five. Oh, this looks beautiful. Oh. Oh. Wow. Great looking backhand drive from Alex. Drifts a little bit to the right. Catches an unfortunate tree, but then a very fortunate second tree to put him right back in the fairway. And Brandon with the power forehand gets all the way past the cameraman. Usually a great sign on a par four. Tree kicks him a little bit to the right. We'll see what he's got. Oh, and that is one of the most fortuitous tree kicks of the day for Kyle. He was heading to the left side of the fairway. And Finley ultimately ends up in that left side rough after his backhand turns over a little too soon for him. And... He goes back to his standstill forehand, probably looking for that left lane, but kicks a tree and he might be taking the right lane from now on. Forehand approach from Alex. Low laser beam, gets a good skip. He's got a birdie putt from inside circle one too. There's Kyle, also going wide. Low forehand, plenty of speed on that one. Gets a big skip to put himself inside circle one, too. And Brandon's kind of pinned up against this tree, and he's going to have to go out on this right side. Oh, no. Tough redirection there. Brandon's going to have at least 50 feet uphill for the birdie. And here's... Finley's third shot, trying to bend it from right to left, and it 
Doesn't quite get the turn that he needed on that disc. Long step putt for Brandon, finds a tree. Looked like he had about 10 of them in the way. And here's Finley for a par save. About 25 feet, slightly above the basket. And he dunks it in the left side. Good save for Finn. And this is Brandon for par as well. Good save for Brandon. But he might be in danger of losing a stroke. Kyle's got that for birdie. Well done. And this is Alex's birdie putt as well. Strong side chains. Five birdies in a row for Alex. Seven strokes ahead of Kyle in second place. And this is hole nine. Straight shot, one tree to beat on the first section of the fairway. We're going to break a little bit to the left, but not too much, and find ourselves with an elevated basket on this green. And here goes Alex. He is six under par on the front nine. Currently on a five-stroke streak. Five birdies, five-hole birdie streak, pardon me. Slams this one to the right of that first tree. And he hits the ground first and slides a little bit deep of the basket. Kyle's also going right side with a little baby flex. Finds the ground first, just short of circle one, and slides up to about 20 feet. Brandon hammering his shot and hugging the right side, but finds a pretty big skip. Finley following Brandon's line. Good power, a little bit left of the basket, but not as far left as Alex went deep. This is Alex Nicosia coming back for birdie. Oh! Wow, so close. And an unfortunate reaction off that elevated basket. He's, Alex still has about at least 20 feet left for his par. Here's Finley straddling around a couple trees. Oh, and he pulls it to the right. No birdie for Finley on hole nine. But Brandon still has a chance. About 30 feet away. Ooh. A little bit high chains, but I guess that's what you want on an uphill putt like that. Brandon is up and in. Eight under par and currently tied for second place with Kyle at the moment, but Kyle is pretty close. Here's Alex for his par save. Good birdie for Kyle Bedell on hole nine. He moves to 900 par, one ahead of Brandon, and he is sitting in solo second place. Slow start for Finley, Buchanan, Jacobs on the front nine. Quite a few missed opportunities, but let's check out the front nine results. Alex and Cozy, like I said, six under par, running away from the field. Kyle is in solo second at nine. Brandon, four under par as well. Solo third at eight, eight under par. And Brandon, Brandon Whitaker and Jacob Alvarez jumping into a tie for fourth place. Hey, thanks to our Patreon supporters. We have another giveaway thanks to Bria Disc Golf on the back nine. So we'll see you there. Look for the pinned comment to figure out how to enter that giveaway from Bria Disc Golf. Some exciting stuff here so far out at Doc Kramer. Thanks everybody for 
tuning into the front nine. I'm AJ Risley, and I will see you in the next video to watch the conclusion of the Doc Kramer classic on Gatekeeper Media. Bye.